Ei vittu, mä en... Hei, onks tää nyt se Peräjärven kova jätkä olevina täällä? Onks tää osaa kyllä mitään tehdä ja... Mitä tää tulee? 12 vuotta täysin Lisä poltti puiseen Why did you call me here, Chief? I called you here today to talk about your most recent job performance. That's right, I was cleaning scumbags off the streets. You killed four people and ended up costing the city over 250,000 sausages in damages. Those beer-snorting, turkey-licking dirtballs had it coming. I can tell you I- As such, we will be relieving you of your car, gun and any pencils you might be carrying, and we'll be giving you a replacement vehicle so that you can fulfill your duty in a more reasonable manner. Your new vehicle is out back. Not that one. Not that one. There you go, that one. Are you kidding me? How do you like that? I work myself to death for the police department, and we get demoted. Not only did I have my guns taken away from me, this is what they gave me. This is, uh, this is the brand new, recently added police motor scooter. I'm gonna have a link in the description below to this glorious mod. You can see right there, it is specifically assigned to only the best patrolmen in Finland in order for them to carry out their job. Now, even though we don't have a gun, there's still a way for us to complete our task. Now, I'll have you know that I, I got on Bamazon and I ended up spending some sausages in order to make some dreams come true. So my contact from before that I met on, on I don't remember what, I think it was called Sausage List. Was that it? I have to remember my training on how to operate this thing. I think you have to, I also have to take a shower because like every freaking fly in Finland is currently trying to buzz its way up my anus. But I got with my guy, and uh, with a little bit of coercion, we have ourselves a potential weapon that we can use to right all the wrongs that have been going on in Finland. Now, I'm not gonna lie, uh, first things first, we're gonna have to get over to Tamo's shop, because from what I understand, I got a call the other day that my order has just recently come in, but it's so, it's so dangerous, it's so volatile, that they couldn't send it to my residence. Let me ask you something. When's the last time you've seen this? Huh? A disembodied, pilotless, little moped rolling down the roadway. It's like Christine's infant. It's like, it's like the fetus of Christine. Like the, the murderous car. This is what happens when it doesn't grow up all the way. It's like a murderous moped. I can't believe I'm still on the road, like driving this thing this way. This is actually one, this should be one of the challenges in the game. Can you get all the way to Tamo's shop operating this sad little contraption without ever actually going behind it? I gotta see if I can do it. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a go though. I'm still alive. <laughs> We're coming up to a big turn though. And if there was a time for me to be going down to Finland town, this is probably gonna be it. Now, as long as another, as long as another car isn't coming the opposite direction, I think that we're fine. When do I need to stop? Do I need to stop when we get to the turn to go over to Tamos? Is that good enough for you guys? This is incredible. I couldn't have done this. Like, I, I legitimately couldn't have done this if if my intent was to do this. I'm probably gonna run out of gas before I get there. What, what kind of fuel economy does this thing get? These mopeds get pretty good fuel economy, right? I think one of my old dirt bikes used to get like. 50 or 70 miles to the gallon, so I, we should be all right. Yeah, we gotta turn right up here. I'm pretty sure this goes over to Tamos. I'm 90, 99% sure. I'm used to looking at it from the actual pilot's area, not from like the gray does whatever he wants area. Uh, yeah, it's not Tamos at all. I'm John Wick. You can't kill John Wick. Even a little turn can't kill John Wick. Actually, we're probably like John Wick's like slightly less competent cousin. Like, Don Wick? That's who we are? I can't help but think that I went the long way to Tamos. Like, you'd figure after I've driven around this friggin' map enough times that I would know what I'm doing. But this is a- and, and this thing isn't slow. Like, I think it gets up to like 70 kilometers per hour or something. So it should be going fast enough to get us there. Oh, there's all the- there's all the beer and sausage laying on the right side of the road. It's like, uh, doing a tour. 
Like, if you ever had me doing your tour of Finland, that's all it would be. It would be like, uh, to your left, you're going to notice a... Uh, Ow! Oh, we're almost home. What I was going to say is, it'd be like, to your left, you're going to notice a, uh, a, a graveyard death sausage fest from Greystill Place. Uh, that's where he lost about 280 pounds of sausages. Uh, over to your right, you will notice a viscous spray of brain fluids all over the ground. That was a place where Gray wiped out. I can't imagine dumping this thing at like 70 kilometers per hour. You're already so low to the ground that it would probably like trim your genital hair off. Like it, it would be pretty bad if it happened. I remember when I was a kid, I had a dirt bike. I uh, I dumped it at one point. Something happened with the with, oh mother of god! Something happened with the the front brake and it locked up on me. I don't know what happened. Like the pressure got too high, or maybe it was too hot outside. It was a beat up bike, all right. Like my very very first dirt bike was a beater. Uh, you guys that have been around for a while probably know what kind I had to. Oh mother of Jesus! We're fine. We're fine. That was a full barrel roll. That was a full barrel roll. I can't believe that. I don't know how we survived there, but. I ended up, uh, I ended up dumping it at one point while I was going like 40, 50 miles an hour and I was picking rocks out of my freaking palms for the next like three days because I, as a, you know, like, as an, like an idiot, I was bringing it over to my friend's house. I totally didn't have my gloves on, which I should have had. Uh oh, 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 okay. Oh, 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 we're still alive though. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. If I can get this thing down to neutral, I think I can pick it right up with, yep. Without even stalling it. Not too shabby, man. I almost freaking rolled this thing just a little moment ago after tripping over a sugar packet or whatever it was. That's like the worst way to die. Can you imagine having to explain that? Like you're in the Finnish ER and you're like, what happened? And you're like, yeah, you know how it is. I, I ran over a, a gray still pay plays sugar container. There's probably a bunch of other people inside the ER and they all know the, the same that same pain. They're all like, oh yeah, you too, huh? Oh, hey, hold on. Shut that off real quick. I got uh, I got a little plan here. I need it. First things first, we need to grab one of these. Now, every time I have tried to get something to drink in the middle of the road, like a car has appeared out of nowhere to attempt to take my life. I don't know how it happens. It's like they know. They only spawn when they sense for a moment that your guard is down. All right, I got a plan. Hold on, there's nothing behind us, right? Yeah, we're good. All right, ready? You ready, you ready to see some... You ready to see some... Tales from the crypt level weirdness. Here we go. There it is. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> it's just a disembodied head floating. Oh, there's the uh, there's the tractor. Hold on, I want to do it again. Yes. Oh, it's perfect. If you saw that rolling down the highway, like, what would you do? Because it's not super intimidating because it's a moped, but with a case of beer levitating in the air and a disembodied head float or a disembodied arm floating there, I, I would feel like a little bit. I, I, I would feel a little bit intimidated, I guess. Got to write the arm a ticket. Been littering. Look at that. Just tossed a bottle right on the ground, like a scumbag. Yep. I went around the entire map. Went around the entire freaking map. I know this now because that right there is Tamos. Good enough. Oh, as you slow down, the beer gets farther away from you. Wait a minute. Is it is it levitating closer to us once I speed back up, or did you see that? Like as we slowed down, the beer got further and further away. I want to know something now. We get up to speed, get up to speed, and then like right about now, slam on the brakes. Yeah, look at it go. Look at it go. How weird, huh? Whatever. All right. Now first things first. We've got it. Is his headlights on? Was his headlights ever on? I don't really remember. Go over here to Tamos. Tamo! What's up, brother? Hey, 27,000 marks. All right, whatever. We got to pay our post order over here. Now, like I said, I've got a bunch of stuff that we ordered. There's all kinds of good... Oh, look at all this. Oh, there's boxes and whatnot everywhere. But there's one box in particular. What is half of this? What is all this? Oh, a flywheel. All right. And there's our rally shocks. Haven't done that in forever. I think these are all like wheels and rims, I would assume. Yep, yep. There's all the rims. There's, I'm assuming these are all wheels and stuff. How many rims did I buy? How many rims are there? Mother of God. And there's one extra box right over here. We lost out on our gun, but we've got something else to utilize. Now, for those of you who don't know about this little freaking gem, I mean, it's it's hard. I don't know how you wouldn't know that this exists, but this right here is some delicious Finnish dynamite. 
Now with finished dynamite, what you can do is you can load it on up like so, and you get to watch the fireworks as everything nearby gets wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know where my box of dynamite went. I just thought about that. There's one piece of dynamite left over here. Uh, our two, our two boys got blasted into the twilight zone. There is not hide nor hair left of them. They are going, going, and gone. I don't know where status D. Oh, I think I see something over there. What is that? Is that a status D right there? Or is that a poor pedestrian? That got freaking rock when these two scumbags go rolling around. Look at this right here. Another oh young God. Finn sleeping with his eyes open because of the horrors that Status D has has done to him. We're gonna let him go. We need to find our uh, we need to find our our dynamite box because it's it's probably halfway across the map. Oh my God, my rims and stuff got blown. Like all, look at this. There's a rim over here. There's another rim over there. There's like a beer case against the forest. Oh no. Oh! Oh! Not today, boss. Found my uh I found the dynamite box, by the by. So we're we're set again. Maybe next time though. I wonder. That which way is it turn? It goes around this way, it comes back this way, doesn't it? Yeah, it should. I have an idea. Oh, there's status D! Oh, buddy! All right, we'll deal with him in a second. First things first, though. Let me, uh... I got a little plan over here. I hear it! Here we go! All right, it's coming this way. Okay, light all that up. Grab this. Come on, blow, 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 blow! Oh, no, it's too late! The crazy thing about the dynamite is that basically it turns everything around it into, like, giant death projectiles. I know I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to anyway. Oh, here we go. Oh, crap. 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 I lit one. Oh. Get out. Get out. Now, I don't know, like, do they all go off or if, like... Yep. They all go off. Tamo, though, as immortal as he is, like the Thor of Finland, does not care. This is so odd. Look at this. It, like, did it blow his door off? There's no door. The door is gone. It blew his door off, but it stopped everything. Like, all the stuff didn't go outside. Anyway, I need more steaks, Tamo. I gotta go home here for a little bit, buddy, but I can't be- I can't be eating normal items. I got- Oh, here we go. While we're here, old Gray has a- has a lot of, uh, a lot of police work that he's gotta get done. And the only way to do it is if we have enough fuel to make this happen. Oh yeah, we rolling up in the club. Now I will say this, if you saw this driving around, you know, like this, you may say to yourself, oh, there's a, there's a loser, or there's a guy who's not stacked. That is, until he rolls up to his mansion. See, now when you see him pulling into a place like this, you're like, oh, maybe first appearances aren't everything, baby. The, the, the gate's already open for us, because it knows what time it is. Oh, my phone's ringing. Turn this off. I, I gotta cook these steaks. Hold up. Oh, my phone's not ringing anymore. I kind of expected that to be an important call. Hello? Hello? Nope, not the sausage list guy. Now, I will say this. Was this here before? Let me show you guys something. Did you notice anything abnormal? All right, you got your uh, mansion. Looking good. Basketball hoop, right? Couple of outdoor lights, nice porch. What is that? Right there. The reason why I ask is because I'm pretty sure this plant wasn't there in the original mod. Right here. Right there. Is this where we're making all our money from? Is this how we got the house? On top of winning the Finnish lottery, we're uh, doing some, some pharmaceutical work or something like that? Now, there's another bush over here that doesn't appear to, uh, to fit. I ca I'm not gonna lie, like, when I came up to this thing, I almost thought this was gonna have, like, an F ability. Like, you'd be able to pick it or something like that. Everyone was always like, Gray, eat the putrid steak. Fine, you sickos. Oh, phone ringing again. Hold on. Let's see what it is. I'm telling you, man, this is our big break. It's probably them giving us our old car back. Nope. 
Uh, let's not worry. Don't worry about that. Who that was? That was uh, that was nobody. That was just a wife. She was checking to see if I went shopping for dinner, and I I did. So we're fine. Now before we go and eat the putrid steak, I have to mention something. Is that is the does my toilet go to the under realm? What was the place called where Zool was at in the original Ghostbusters? What realm did he come from? Is that where the toilet goes? Or are we just urinating like bubbling green goo out of our phallus? Is it like, it's like a witch's brew bubbling over there. It's kind of worrisome. Now what happens when you eat the toxic steak, I do wonder? Let's find out. Oh, I can't eat it? Oh? Oh, you can't eat it at all. It doesn't let you eat it. Oh, okay. The meat just got thrusted at me really fast. How about the raw steak? Can you eat the raw steak? Nope, can't eat that either. So there's actually no, nothing I can do about this, guys. I, I have to break both time and space by turning this putrid steak into a better steak. At least I think it'll happen. Doesn't it? It turned from a green... I like how the putrid steak is just the steak with like a slightly opaque green tint to it. Like you turn the opacity down to like 50. And you go to you go to Photoshop, and then you you throw you throw a green over it. Now it's burnt, so can I? Am I allowed to eat? Nope, still putrid. Ugh. Don't worry about me. I'm just over here in the pool holding on to my meat. Nothing nothing unusual about that. A lot of people do it. All right, just ask Ty Lopez. This is not unusual. Happens now and again. You gotta dunk your meat every once in a while. You gotta keep it clean. Uh, and oh no, I had no idea. You get the dirtiness down by sitting in the pool. That's amazing! This is like the most overpowered house in the game. I love it. You guys seem to enjoy the mansion as well, so I think we're gonna keep it around. There we go. Oh, we're set now. Get up out of here. Now, how, how's my how's my meat doing over here? Is it finally, did it turn un, unputrified? Oh yeah, right over here. It turned, no, it, yep. I totally broke, I bo broke the cosmos. You, you guys saw it, it went straight from burnt back to putrid. All right, well I need at least one cooked steak a day. So let's see if we can get one steak to at least cook normally and then we'll have some dinner, something to drink, and then we're gonna... Really? And then we're gonna head back over to Tamo's after a nice sleep so that we can uh, possibly clean up some more crime. I'd like to have a pool party over here too. I gotta get my buddies up in here. Oh, there we go. Just marinating the steak. This is how Bear Grillis likes his steak. They don't want it to cook... It burnt that quick?! What the hell?! All right. I'll eat a burnt steak. Let's let's try this one more time. Man, I am not emeralding it up over here. All right, there we go. Now it's cooked. Ah, here it is. That's how you quench your hunger. All right, now if I can get that <sighs> bottle directly up. I was I, one of these days. I want to kind of catch it on my head just to see if it's possible. Anyway, we're super fatigued. I'm gonna hit the hay, and then it's gonna be a new day of blowing people up. Also, I there's very there's something very specific that I want to see if I can do with the dynamite. Now, before you go to sleep, don't forget to dry your hands off on this. That's what it's for. Right? Ah, I slept so long, I went from Wednesday to Wednesday. Someone was like, you know, logic in my summer car. Go to sleep, you know, a full night or whatever. Wake up, it's still the same day. No, 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 you don't get it. It's Wednesday, but it's Wednesday seven days from the last Wednesday. All right, scumbags. Get out of here. I'm back. I'm here to clean up the streets. Have you two learned your freaking lessons? I see you still haven't gotten that tail light fixed. Well, that's all right. I've got a little... Where did my crate of dynam... Oh, there it is. The one thing you don't want to do in this world is lose your crate of dynamite. How is Tamo fixing his window so fast? Like, there's no Home Depot around here. I don't think he's got a bunch of glass just sitting at home or anything like that. Now, I do need you guys for something. Uh, because if I'm gonna have a pool party, I need to get you guys to come over to it. So real quick, let's uh, let's see over here. If we, oh, you know what? There's a better way to do this. I've got a better way to do this. Kind of shove it. That was a little far. That went way further than I had anticipated. Oh, crap. He's talking. Oh, 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 I already started it. I already started the fireworks. Here we go. Ready? Happy New Year, boys! Woo! It never gets old. Oh, look at this guy! Hold on, can he get blown up? Because you can punch him and he gets hurt from the punches, but I don't know if you blow him up if anything bad happens. Let's find out. Now, 
at the speed that he's shambling drunkenly, he should get over here just in time to touch these. Yep. Alright. Oh! Trogdar's here as well! Look at that. That's perfect. Totally invincible! Totally invincible! Never seen anything like that! I, I didn't think he would be- I didn't think he would stop like that. Hold on, let's um... I just gotta, I just gotta, here, let me, I'm gonna check you for a fever real quick. Just real fast. Just stop, stop moving around. Right over here. There we go. Just lay there, because I got an idea. Now, once this guy's a ragdoll, he exists in ragdoll form. So for science, let's bring him over by the dynamite. Just to see what happens. And then there's someone else I'd like to test the dynamite on. Keep snoring, Sleeping Beauty. You're you're about to you're about to become potentially the first random Finnish guy on the moon with no training. All right, let's see over here. Now, if we do a bunch of this like so, there we go. Maybe even more. Let's really go nuts here. Really go nuts. Really go absolutely freaking ballistic. There we go. Now we're gonna break some games. Now we're do. Oh my god. Now we're gonna get it go. All right, right about there. That should be plenty bright out. All right. Let's kind of do that. Oh my god. All right, let's head over here. All right, floppy body. What do you? Is there anything left? Look at it. It's just. It's going supernova. Wow. He's gone. There's not even ash left. One single piece of dynamite. I'm pretty sure that's a piece of dynamite, unless it's like his part of his his twig instead of the berries. It's just the twig, but the entire body gone. Crap. Status D's soulmate got evaporated too. Give John Wick a pencil and he can kill three men. Give him a box of dynamite and this is what happens. Now we're gonna have to get rid of the evidence, otherwise the chief is gonna be really, really unhappy about what we've done. So. uh... Hold on one second here. What do you think? Is that enough to erase the car from existence? Probably. A little bit of that like that there. Grab our box. Head behind the gas pumps because that's the safest place to be. And what happens to the- oh! <laughs> Wow. That is a Tiger Woods style drive. Right there. Hole in one on a par six. That thing is gone. Can, I can still barely see it. Probably end, it'll probably end up on our island. Remember the island? Drunk man. Drunk man, you hear, buddy? What is this? There's a party going on today? I thought that only happened on Sunday. What is this? Oh, it's the crazy, uh, look. Oh, man, those pit stains are getting bigger every time. Like, no joke. Was it drunk man in the bed? <laughs> it's every ridiculous every time. All right, let's uh, let's wake them up. Now, there is one way to not party foul when you're waking up all of your drunk friends. Uh, and that's to go ahead and throw down, like, 400 pounds of dynamite right in the middle of the party. Let's go ahead. I don't think that this door opens. No, it absolutely doesn't. Now, do I die if I do this? Let's, um, put it over here. Maybe like, maybe like, yeah, right While I fill up drunk man's entire kitchen with dynamite, can someone tell me what these two are saying to each other? What are they saying? They're having a drunken conversation. I'm just very curious what the, what the nature of their conversation is. Don't worry about me, drunk man. Just redecorating. It looks like a bunch of whole wheat pasta. It, it, it appears like I'm just filling his entire kitchen with whole wheat pasta right now. It's very healthy. All right, that should be plenty. Oh, wow, it's destroying my frame rate. Let me move this out here. Now, I think we're probably gonna want to view this from out back. Here we go. I don't know if I can get around in time. Let me... No, probably not. Hold on, let me... Let's, let's look over. <laughs> oh, we're bent in and blew the doors clean off the building. Well, we were. Wow! We weren't able to get out in the back patio before because the door didn't open, but it opens now. Drunk man's gone. All of his friends are gone. 
And his furniture is laying all over the place. Well, oh, some of his furniture's out here. But everyone else has been completely annihilated. There, there isn't even a shred of drunk man's DNA left. You could turn a black light on in here and you wouldn't find nothing. I think that we've cleaned up the streets. Even though the chief tried to keep us from doing our job, we did our job even better because now there's no one around for him to blame us for. We've erased all of the potential suspects from the entire map. Guys, I hope you enjoy this episode of my summer car. If you want to make the YouTube machine happy, feel free to throw like 8,000 pounds of dynamite at the like button. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.